In this lesson, we're going to look at the pros, the cons, and the limitations of using member boards with MailerLite. MailerLite is a great email marketing tool. It has not been around as long as the likes of MailChimp, but it still has a lot to offer. In its free plan, you get automated emails, you get landing pages, sign up forms, pop up forms, um, quite a lot of features on the free plan, and you also get a thousand contacts free. Its popularity really grew around 2019 where MailChimp changed the offerings in its free plan and that moved lots of people from MailChimp to MailerLite. This makes it really popular for startups, freelancers and small business owners. My favourite thing about MailerLite is its automation. Whether you're on the free plan or on the pay plan, you get access to this amazing automation. It's very visual. Um, you can add all the steps you need in your workflow. So if you want to send someone an email after something happens and then you want them to wait a day before sending them another email, you can add logic to it to say, if they're in this group, do this. If they're not in this group, do this. You can also add you know, other conditions. You can move them to a different step. Um, you get so much when it comes to MailerLite and automated emails. So that is one of the great features about it. It also has a nice drag and drop editor, which makes creating emails very smooth, very easy and very simple to use. Um, everything is very visual when it comes to MailerLite. However, it's not quite perfect. There are a few niggles. So one of them is that when you first sign up for MailerLite, it may take some time to get approved. So, you know, if you want to send an email tomorrow, you sign up today, it might not happen. Um, if you don't have a business email address, for example, then they need to verify some more details about you just to make sure that you're a legit business, that you're not just there to send out spam emails. So they do have a quite strict vetting process when it comes to people signing up. In terms of integrating it with Member Vault, the main limitation is that it is not a two-way connection. So this means that if your customers buy your products in Member Vault, Member Vault would then send them over to MailerLite. That's the seamless process. You know, it's a magic that happens behind the scenes. You don't get involved at all. However, if your customers are buying your products outside of Member Vault, so say via your website or via your landing page or some other third party tool, then you need to send those customer details to MailerLite and to Member Vault. You can't send them from MailerLite back to Member Vault, if that makes sense. So you can go from Member Vault to MailerLite if the sign up is via member vault, that's all fine, but you can't go the other way around. You need a third party tool like Zapier to help you do that. Having said that, most people are usually fine with the one way. Most people sell their um, products via member vault, so that's not usually an issue. But if you do have your other fancy setup somewhere else, then that's where you just need to get another tool involved. And that process is still quite simple, so it's nothing to really worry about, but it's just something to bear in mind when you're setting this up. So if you're looking for an email platform that is simple to set up, has a free plan, can allow you to send your newsletters and automated emails, then most importantly, integrate with Member Vault, then MailerLite is a great choice. And to top it all off, you get access to support even on the free plan. You know, there are some tools like MailChimp where you only get support for the first 30 days after sign up, but with MailerLite, you get support throughout. So it's a really great option to use with Member Vault.